Whenever I wanna, whenever I wanna sleep, I read the "Let's Not Meet" subreddit, and I saw this one that I just thought of. <laughs> you done? <laughs> I saw. I saw one that I thought of, where it was like, this girl lived in like it was like a, uh one of those buildings like the one you see in like downtown mm -hmm. that has like the balconies like the baltimore building um it's not a hotel is that what baltimore is yeah i think no that's like apartment complex i'm Whatever. thinking about like the one near the train station it's just like mm -hmm. one of those like apartment mm -hmm. buildings that each of them gets their like they look like old people live there but no, that's like, like old the rich people live like there. that's like Regency that, that you're thinking about, like mm. on Chestnut. Mm. But anyways, she lived on that, and then she was like dancing, like and listening to music or something like that. No, it wasn't even a story on Let's Not Meet. It was a video. <gasps> a yeah, video. it was a video of her like dancing in like, front of the camera, like for a TikTok or something. Yeah, she was dancing in front of the camera. And then this dude came in through her balcony, like this soccer kid. He, and, he, and then she got all scared and he was all like creepily like smiling. And he's like, are you my friend? And then she goes, no, please leave. And then he like climbed back down. What the fuck? Yeah. That's got to be like a prank though. No, it was real. No, in a sense and she, of like, like. called the police and like, and he was, she, he's, he was her stalker. Oh. Yeah. Stalker? Have you had a stalker? No, I just had like bad clients that are like similar. <laughs> um, I had a stalker when I was nine. Do you remember that stalker that I told you about, right? Yeah, the ice cream guy. Mm -hmm. He would come buy mango and cherry, a $2 one, and give me a $20. Told me to keep it every time so I'd gain his friendship. And after a while... He, it's creepy. He, it's just like a pedophile. He would ask me for my name. He would ask, like, where I lived. Like, because he never knew I lived where I was selling ice yeah, cream. Yeah, so he was, like, fishing for information. Mm -hmm. And then I would have my dad stay out there with me. And then he yeah. came back again it's, after my dad died and it was... That stuff's, like, way more common than you would imagine. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, creeps. Yeah. People think it's, like... Like they see it on like uh, like online or like some creepy story, but it happens like a lot. No, it happens Mostly to me girls. a lot in person. Well, yeah, because it's men that are no. creeps usually. Yeah, I don't know why. Are you a creep? No, there's like maybe there's um like so many stories from that I hear from girls of like guys that feel like entitled to their attention. Yeah. People are like, and like, because men like feel like if you compliment them, they're supposed to say like thank you or something. But like, we're not, we're not like. Well, yeah, that's like first of all. But then there's secondly, like someone who, like, was they were like talking or something, mm -hmm. and then, um, the girl's not interested anymore, and the guy like just can't accept that. To the point where some people like there's kill like them. yeah they kill them because yeah. it's like the it's like the if if I can't have you you can't. Type no thing. one can have you. Yeah. You know I what mean, I've yeah, seen? Yeah, that's what I meant. You know what I see a lot? <laughs> Sorry. You know what I see a lot? Girls also liking that because of the attention that's given to them. Like when I was like maybe Well, that's like, like one thing. Yeah, like... When I was like 13... People would do it on purpose. I had a friend and I was walking with my friend and... Let me make sure this is recording. Okay. <clears throat> I do like a mom. Oh, Wilson. Huh? Hmm? What was the story? When I was like 12 or 13. Stop. <laughs> when I was 12 <laughs> or 13, I was walking to the mall for my house. And you know, you know where my house is and you know where the mall is. Like, it's not that bad. So I would walk to the mall. Like, I mean, it's like. It's like a 20 minute walk. 25. Because I would walk really? everywhere. Yeah. Because I would walk to the garage. Wilson. Than you would imagine. I would walk to the garage and like the stairs and then go to the front kind of. Because mm -hmm. 
that path, that like really empty path where they put a bunch of speed bumps now. Do you know okay. what I'm talking about? Right. So I was walking past there and it was like the last day of school. And me and my friend, we're wearing dresses. We we're like 12 or 13 at the time. And I used to hang out with her all the time. And then we would walk to the mall. And she had a stalker and she liked the, the attention. No. So then some guy, like maybe like 20s. Was being like creepy. He like drove up to us and like she just fed him all this attention, even though he was clearly like trying to get us into the car. And and then another guy passed by and cat called us. And I was like, that's disgusting. She was like, no, I like it. It makes me feel pretty. And I was like, no. I guess that's just giving it giving it like a good twist. No, but it's not because it makes it acceptable. I guess if she, I think if she like responded to it. She did. Oh. Well, she did. Because if it just makes her feel more confident, then sure. Yeah. But if she's like. Actively responding to it. Yeah. That's an an issue it's an issue not for her because she likes it it would be an issue because um then that guy would go and do it to other girls and he'd expect the same thing which is what happens a lot and then when he doesn't he gets all like mad or some shit and you see some backstories of like some serial killers it all goes back to like that one girl who like rejected him yeah and it's like the spree of like killing all these girls who are the same height same like yeah they pick like a genre yeah um yeah, that's like true. They pick like a genre. So it's like the they, the f- the five three brunette women. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. And it's it's. And like, it needs to stop today. Yeah, and we're gonna get to the <laughs> bottom of it. I think. Yeah, that's just weird. Have you ever cat called someone? No, but I used to like yell at the window when I was like younger. Because I thought what? it was funny. I just like scream random stuff. You still do Because I thought it was funny. No, I don't. Well, not you at scream people. help. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. If I'm driving, I'll scream help. Um, yeah, I've seen um, this other thing of like, it was like this girl and her boyfriend were like, they, there was, like, this guy that was, like, always, like, being, like, weird with them. Like, they lived together in, like, the same apartment. and Like, they were all roommates? No, no, the or guy just... didn't even live there. Oh, okay. He was just weird, like, always trying to get in and stuff. Okay. But he, like, didn't live there and stuff like that. And then one time, um, they were, like, having sex. And then the dude was, like... um. Like, they, like, heard some sound or something like that. Was he under the bed? I'm, like, forgetting. No, 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 that's weird. No, no I've seen cases no, like no, that. No. The dude, they heard a sound, like, at the door. Like, someone trying to open the door or something. Or mm-hmm. some, They heard something, right? And then they went and they were like, oh, it's nothing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the next day, the creepy stalker guy, um, he, from outside, he played, like, their, like, a sex tape. Of them mm. on speaker, like on like a speaker. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Is there any other information? No, but it's Story on the, sucks. It's on the Let's Not Meet subreddit and that subreddit. Um, it's like one of my favorite subreddits. Well, it's one of the only ones I read thoroughly. That one, I I tell a lot of people the stuff about it and then they're like, that didn't happen. But the cool no, thing about it is... No, they have to. Yeah, the cool thing is they, they, they check. They have to prove it. Yeah, and they and they upload the proof. Mm-hmm, to the mods. And the mods upload it to the comment section. Yeah, and it says... So, like, there was, so like, the so, police report and, like, mm-hmm. all that stuff and, like, evidence that he had broken in and, like, everything mm-hmm. like that. I don't know if my story is, like, exactly, like, accurate, but it was, like, I just know it ended in, like, the guy playing, like, audio mm-hmm. or, like, sending it to them or something. I've of seen them, it. like, fucking. I've seen a story. I'm not sure if it was on Let's Not Meet, but it was when I was younger and it was, like, a girl who was just, like, a single girl hooking up with people and she had a stalker who ended up drilling through her, like, basement in her house to her room, like, without her knowing, putting a hole under her bed and putting a camera in her room so he could hear her have sex that and also a lot watch. Too. Like, in hotels, people put cameras. 
Did you see the Airbnb one? Where the yeah. guy... Yeah. Did I show you that or did you show I me that? I saw it on Penguin Zio. We saw it. Yeah, because... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was about. like the guy who had an Airbnb... And he set up cameras. In, in like a cabin in like the woods. Yeah. And he was telling like... And he, he would, told the cops that yeah. it wasn't him, that like someone must have set it up. Yeah, no, but, but they found he all would the files. say stuff like... Uh, they said that he would say like weird shit like... Yeah, be free to like like run around naked mm-hmm. if you want. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he was he would try to get them to like. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you want to wake up in the morning and like like look at the sunrise naked, feel free. And he had like a camera like yeah. set up right at the sunrise. It's like super weird. Yeah, there's there's like I'm like super scared of Airbnbs too. Well, that in hotel rooms because easily you could go mm-hmm. in a hotel room and add your own like alarm clock that has like a camera in it. Yeah. So or I, add your own like USB charger that has a camera. That's why when I was like working, I only changed like in the bathroom. Like I didn't change like out there. Well, even in the bathroom, they add um like double sided mirrors with a camera behind it. Yeah, that's scary. I it's saw like this you're whole like safe. news thing on it where, and where like this like guy whose job it is to look for those um, or warn people about them. It's sad that like now there's a job created for it. Really? That's sad. Yeah. That's like the shopping cart thing where like, it's a different thing, but where people don't put their shopping cart back and their whole excuse is like, it's someone's job to do it. Yeah. But that job, that's what Jake was saying. The job was the only job created probably was created. Because it's like the chicken and the egg thing. Yeah. Like the job probably got created because so many people like weren't putting that shit back. The chicken was first. I feel like you don't put it back. I always put it back. Okay. The trick is to park next to it. Yes. <laughs> I park to the closest yeah, one I and the closest to, to the store. Yeah. I don't use carts a lot of the time, though, unless I know I'm buying yeah, one. Yeah, I don't really use carts. Unless we only use carts for, like, Willy and stuff and groceries. Like, big stuff. Like, even at Walmart, we barely use. Yeah, I don't use carts. I use Sometimes my pockets <laughs> in Walmart. <laughs> don't <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Stuff. It's a prank. <laughs> I'm Thank quick. you. I'm gay and I love Xander. Um, no, yeah. I wonder what like the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me was. Have you ever had like a creepy like client? Yeah, I've had I've had a lot of bad ones. Like what? Anything? I don't know if I can talk about can you it. Reveal your sources. <laughs> I don't think. And no, probably not. I've had too many like creepy like things, especially with the ice cream. I haven't had like a creepy client. I just had like bad clients who like spans me and stuff like that yeah. or like try to like I don't know they, they do a lot of have stuff have any of your clients asked you on a date no really yeah that doesn't it's like cause I do like corporate videos it, it's like um, Lennox does like photography and yeah. stuff like that so he gets like but like when you were starting up you weren't doing only corporate really yeah it was really yeah interesting I started a corporate. The milfs were <laughs> letting you know. I started corporate by doing them for free. Mm. So I started in corporate. Mm. Okay. The, the alternative is doing like personal stuff, like yeah. like family videos and for, and like portraits, and then using that to get into corporate for money, mm-hmm. or just doing corporate for free, and yeah, then using c- those free videos as an example. Yeah, because remember when we were talking about, it, I was like, how do I get a good job, like in a vet place. <laughs> And it was like offered to work for free. Yeah. Until they want to hire you, and it, it, worked. it worked. It worked. Yeah. It but works. I just wasn't like um, interested I, in the deal they were giving me. You can get almost like any job, except like the obvious ones, like doctor and lawyer mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but you can get almost any job, like at like a cafe that's people like just high want quality, it. or like a film thing, mm-hmm. or like a like a repair person or electrician yeah. or a car mechanic like all you have to do is say i'll work for free you message like 100 people and you say you you you'll work for free Mm -hmm. for because you want to get a job there once you learn yeah and then like one will say yeah that's true that's how i got my first job and stuff i had one say yeah but they never reached out again after answering like their questions yeah i don't know how it's gonna do i think once i finish my semester because i have to get an externship i think i i'm gonna apply to ones in massachusetts or connecticut Cause I can't be doing this with like Rhode Island hospitals because they really suck at like communicating with you. 
It's like all you want, veterinary technicians are so like, like they're like um, in demand job right now, but no one wants to like train people who like are studying for it to get them on a head start. Because you just need the certification, but you can be a veterinary assistant without a certification. Hmm. So it's like really dumb. Did I tell you about that girl or the woman at Warwick, the Banfield, where they didn't call me that no. I went for the day? So I remember when I went for the day, like two hours, three hours to the Banfield? To, to the wrong one? No, 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 no. To like the one in Warwick and I went for two to three hours and I just sat there and watched them. Do you remember that? I think so. Well, then they got a new hiring manager. The old hiring manager, he never called me back saying I was hired or not, which I find really disrespectful. Y- yeah, like I you should let stuff. everyone know. I hate that stuff. And I've never had a job reach out to me personally and tell me no, which sucks. Yeah, that does suck. It's it's not that hard to just tell no. someone no. Because you're waiting on it and like... Well, yeah, because you have to apply to other jobs yeah. and shit. Yeah. Especially if, they, a like, lot. especially if they give you like a... Because they wait for so long with you. With me, it's annoying because I'm, I'm... My skill doesn't match like my age. Yeah. So they get all like... They like short circuit on whether they should pick like the 40-year-old who had a job at, like before in the same industry. Yeah. Or like the like person in their 20s who doesn't have like that exact job experience but like is better yeah and then can prove it yeah like i i like proved it and the guy even called me and said like yeah your video was better but this guy like worked for our competitor yeah it's like okay but anyways so then i applied for the same position again and on the phone i let her know it's like hey my application's still in the the system the hiring manager never had called me back after um, I'm not sure why. And she was super rude on the phone. She's like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. I can't do anything about it. I don't have access. I was like, oh, I was just letting you know in case. Um, and then she was like, okay, I'll call you tomorrow and let you know when I can bring you in. Never calls me. Never. It's been three weeks. Yeah. Was that a threat? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, the creepiest story, though. That's ever happened to me. I don't think anything very like creepy has ever happened to me. It sucks because for girls, you have to like have all this fake information on deck. Like what? my fake name was like. I'm not sure this closes. Fake name. But not. Wait, mm-hmm. why do you need a? Cause if you're like, they're like, what's your name? You got it on a note card. You no, mm-hmm. but you have to have it like in your brain. Why? Like ready. Because they'll use it to, like, find your Instagram or some shit. Yeah. And, like, you'll realize in some jobs they don't have name tags. And it's because. Oh. Because I asked my old job. I was like, Mm. why don't we have name tags? They're like, because people will literally use it to find your social media. Because, like, especially a name like yours or mine. They can't just ask or something. Especially a name like yours. No, no. but, like, you see how many people find your Instagram? Like, from Nitro? Like, they yeah, learn your yeah, name, yeah, yeah. and then they find you. Not no, in, like, a bad way. They don't find it from my name, though. They find it from going to Nitro's page. Mm. And, and being then, tagged. And then finding any picture I'm in, and then, and then like, DMing me. Yeah. But, like, it happens a lot. It's creepy. Not your Not form. that much. Not yours. Me. It's, like, every now and then. Yeah. It used to happen a lot more. To you? To you. What do you mean? It doesn't happen that much. Not anymore. It never really did. I quit. I'm gay and I love Xander. I don't like that sound. Why? I don't like the voice. It's Rick and Morty. I know, but I don't like the It's probably like the same two voice actors that Mm -hmm. do like everything. Yeah. What time is it? 8.34. Are you going to take Willie out? Or are you you going to keep him in there for the remaining of the podcast? I'm not taking him out during the podcast. We just put him in. At 7.30. Yeah, but he goes in for an hour and a half now. Mm, so he goes. So he comes out at nine. Yeah. Or when the podcast. Wait, done? no, in an hour and a half. So he went in at. He seven? didn't even go in at seven thirty. He went in at like seven forty-five. He, he ate at seven forty. Really? Yeah. So it's. So he long. went in at like seven fifty-five. 
So it's been like 40 minutes. Yeah. So he has like an hour and something left. Yeah. Okay. He's chilling though. He He's tired, but he doesn't, he like won't sleep. As soon as he steps out, he'll just knock. Yeah. He does it a lot. Yeah. It's like weird. My neck really hurts. I had a headache. I was scared to do the podcast because I've been having this headache all day, but it feels fine. Yeah, I have um, episodic migraines and they suck. How was your How was your overdosing the other day? Did you recover? It only lasted like two hours, like the side effects. Did you Do you because think you the, overdosed for sure? Yeah. The only way I keep track. The now, only way, like especially you, you guys. Said I do the two only- things now. I keep track of the medicine when I take it. And I drink and eat slowly now because I got really bad hiccups for like five hours. It was for like five hours. You slept with hiccups on. And it gets on. annoying. Yeah, I slept with it on. <laughs> with it on. With yeah, it, it gets on. annoying. With it on. And it happens because I'll like drink water really fast and then I'll like choke. Yeah, you, you know chug why, water. Think? You know why? I think it's going to go away. What do you mean? The water. It's going to escape. No, because... I literally think I built habit because I went to Catholic school, mm-hmm. and in you the, only had a certain amount of time at, to eat. The lunch was, uh, I think, like nine minutes. Yeah, that's sad. You know what else was sad? In public school, you're required to have at least a thirty minute. I think it's required. It's now like everywhere. in the policy, maybe, but in the Private policy, schools can do a lot of whatever they want. I think, um, because they have a board of people who like pay. I think. And donate and stuff. Who can just pick the rules? Oh, yeah. The other thing that was sad is um, I went to school with, like, a bunch of white people. That's not the sad part. <laughs> but, like, when you have, like, a bunch of, like, like white, like, 10-year-olds. What, and the, then, like, one or the two fruit Hispanics. Snacks thing? With fruit snacks. But, like, they would have, like, a cosmic brownie. And you would have, like... Arroz con like yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They would have like lunchables and I would have like like rice and like chicken. And like broccoli. And like in some like Hispanic shit. Yeah. And like some people would either treat it like they're at a zoo. Like, oh, what's that? And like they think they're at, like, but they're just kids being like curious. Kids. But yeah. it's like you feel weird. And then other kids like roast it. That happened to me a lot. Yeah. Can't relate to that. It much. happened a lot. But in high school, it didn't happen. <laughs> Did you still bring in lunch school, in high people school? People wanted sometimes, yeah. Most you of the seem time. like the kid because you well, you're hungry. I yeah that, yeah. and I counted macros in high school. Oh uh, okay, you're a hungry kid. Yeah, I rarely ate lunch. I don't really eat lunch. Like school lunch, I mean, I yeah. always ate lunch. I would leave I would a lot. I bring my own. I would leave a lot to go get lunch. But like, it went from like kids, I would go home. It went from kids like uh, being like. What's that? To to kids being like jealous. It's also like because the high school is public and then like all that, this and also like people grow up and they realize like that real food's better. Yeah, yeah, it's like weird. Mm-hmm. You know what else I did a lot in Spanish class because everyone else had an accent. I would like kind of like say the words wrong on purpose. Why? Because I was like shy that I knew how to say it. I swear no. I did that. I was like, I would have like white people in my class and like my god sister was in my class and my friend was in my class. And we had a, like a really bad teacher who was like horrible. Like everyone. No, I used to like, I wouldn't like use it to show off. Not in a bad way. Like she wasn't horrible in a bad way. Like she was like fine. She was nice to me and like my god sister and my sister. But it was everyone would bunk her class because um, she was like too too lenient in a sense of like you could just get away with things and she's not going to do anything that's every spanish teacher almost. right except like i had one that AP wasn't ones. like that i had one that wasn't like that my, my ap ones weren't like that the one that wasn't like that was the one who restricted me like literally restricted me even after my mom said i could go to um the the eighth grade like skating trip just because i got a concussion at the last one and she restricted me she said I couldn't go because I got a concussion, even though my mom and my dad said it was okay. It seems like something she's allowed to do. Not in a sense of like... Like, if you really wanted to go, your parents could have brought you. Yeah, but it would have just been weird. Also, my parents work. Like, my my dad was, well, like, like, sick, one. It, it seems Two, reasonable my mom for a teacher not to want to have to deal with, like, the girl who gets a concussion every year. 
No, but I, that's the start of like when it happened. But I only so got a. So you did con- end up getting a concussion that year. But I, the only reason I got a concussion was because of someone else's fault, not my own. Do you get a lot of concussions? Now I do. Was well, so yeah. But that's like then being it like, was because it was like someone else's fault. That's like an insurance company seeing like, like you got in ten car crashes in the last ten but months, I also said and you're like, I but none of them were my fault. But this girl gets in car accidents. But I was also, number one, I also agreed that I wouldn't skate. I, like, said I don't want to skate because I was already traumatized from what had happened. You probably would have done it, though. No, I wouldn't have. I was really scared. I could see why a teacher would, like, not want to deal with it, though. Yeah, but I like wasn't going to skate. the concussion girl. I wasn't going to skate. I really, like, wasn't going to skate. Can you take it off the... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to skate, and I didn't. Um, I got to be able to go. Please no. Um. Oh yeah, and I was able to go, and I didn't ski. Oh, like you ended I agreed up going to, anyways. yeah, because my mom and my dad you were just mad. Said you got restricted. I was restricted. Like one once. time, I was in school. <laughs> one time, my mom was in a parent teacher like. Not parent teacher conference. She was on like the board of people the PTA. that yeah that helped bring stuff to the school. Mm-hmm. And then of course I, she was. Yeah, of course so she was. She was helping like stuff with the school, mm-hmm. and I was just sitting in the hallway while she was in the meeting at like nine p.m. Mm-hmm. Right. And then the fucking janitor like found me, quote unquote, even though I wasn't hiding. And then like, like saw my wallet on the ground because I was sitting with like my stuff on the ground. Mm-hmm. Grab my wallet, oh. took my student ID out, and started walking to the office with it. And then he made a copy of it in the office's yeah, printer. I remember. And then he just put the copy in his pocket, and then and then he like left. And then I told my mom, I was like, "This dude just took a copy of my student ID." So wait, even I'm though like, I was just sitting there. I'm, I then, like to understand how like why couldn't you just be like my mom's right there and like he wasn't listening. Or were you just at that chai point still? No, I was like saying like I'm not doing anything, like stuff like that. Well, yeah, of course, but you could have just pointed. And he was just like, mm-hmm. No, I wasn't. I was like far. I was like at the other side of the school sitting in the hallway. Mm, that's sus. You're sus. Yeah, but you didn't even let me explain. <laughs> okay. And I wasn't doing anything. I was sitting there. Okay. And then my mom asked him. She yelled at him. Okay. She And then he said he was just trying to scare me. For what? It kind of worked because I was like a freshman. Oh, was that a classical? Yeah. Mm, okay. You mean at high school? <laughs> I'm not trying to get a stalker, bro. Dude, bro. I just stay anonymous now. I have to stay anonymous. We mentioned Nitro. Yeah, but you can find that through Instagram. Not my high school. Yeah, it's not that bad. Attention, if you want to stalk me, please don't. Don't do it. I quit, I'm gay, and I love Xander. But he doesn't. He's just cute. Yeah. Sometimes he scares people. I need, like, a Rottweiler. He scares people. Sometimes. A Rottweiler? Yeah. Mmm, knew yourself. I think um, the two dogs that I've wanted. Or Doberman. Dobermans are sick. The dogs I wanted was, I wanted a, like, a brown, like, because there's, like, a darker brown one, Golden Retriever. Mmm, the, like, light brown, like, the the shiny ones, the ones that look kind of, like, shiny golden brown, like a golden like brown? like a dark brown, I don't know. Oh, the darker brown? I thought you meant the other. It's like brown. a dark brown golden, I don't know. I wanted that, and I want uh, my first choice was an Irish setter, but it's yeah. you have to be like a, an adult. Really? Why? Because it's like are they like because they're aren't they like competing dogs or whatever? It's too much work. They what need are? like a lot of space. You have to groom them more than like Willie. Grooming, I know they have a lot of hair. I don't know. I don't know why you would even think of like getting a dog that needs to be groomed. I wouldn't think that ever be like your type, especially now, because it's just a lot of work. I don't have a dog that needs to be groomed. I know, but like even thinking about it. That's why I said I, I, I would get one if I had like money and, and like was like an adult. Yeah. 
Oh, then so I could get it groomed. Oh, at so other I place. thought you meant like you physically need to be an adult to adopt one. <laughs> like I am like a, a big, an adult, but like like, like a thirty year old, like a big adult. Like I'm an adult, but not an adult. Yeah, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Makes sense. Hmm? That wouldn't make sense though. The um, rules, rules of the world of an Irish setter. No, they're beautiful. Yeah, they are. I saw a lot of them when I was. Working. I've only seen one. I saw a lot of them when I was working. They're very. I saw beautiful. one in New York. I see them a lot in New Hampshire. That was it one time in New York. They're it was beautiful. a puppy. Oh, I've seen one Irish setter. It was puppy. like a six month oh. puppy. They're super cute. I really it like. Felt we- like I was seeing like a fucking unicorn. I really like wiener dogs. Really uh, like them. They're funny. I wouldn't adopt one. I, I don't t- really like small dogs like that. I told you I want a Frenchie. Uh, those are aren't those the ones with the face that like shouldn't exist frenchies pugs yeah so why would you want one isn't that like supporting the whole like industry of it you know what i mean because like they're like oh more people are buying it we have to keep breeding these no because they're like bred to die or like bred to have problems yeah they have everything's bred to die but like Um, I don't know what your correlation in that sound was. Dying. <laughs> um, yeah, I, w- I don't want like a dog that like. I don't want a St. Bernard. Has... I don't want. Why? Too fluffy, too much. When did anyone say anything about St. Bernard? No, I was like thinking of like big dogs that I would like. Because oh, okay. I want a big dog when I'm older. Big dog. But a good big dog would be like, hmm. Love goldens, but if not trained right, it's so easy for them to be aggressive. I think people a don't good think big that. Dog is like, um, like I'll show you the the dog. Great Danes are like not bad. No, I love a Great Dane. Yeah, they're not bad. I just don't like that they the, won't live long. Yeah, they like don't live long. Would never have a German Shepherd, ever. Oh, they're I not like that big. They're pretty big. Like they're they're, like big. they're on the big spectrum. They're 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 I think they're considered extra large. Yeah. But he's past extra large in the thing, and so is Argo's way past extra large. <laughs> that man's like they, extra the, extra the, extra large. The scale they use is weird, because they they put they put um. German Shepherds and like large. King Corsos are cool. That's what that girl has. What girl? That person from Nitro. They have one. It's cute. Isn't that what Messi has? Or does Messi have like a different one? You know what Messi has? Mm-mm. The like big boys. Look the, it up. The King Corso that goes to the gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a King Corso. Tiny. Puppy? No, he's big now. Big? Yeah. She she brought it to Nitro. And I expect he was under the bar and I expected oh like uh the tiny one? Yeah, the tiny one she brought the first time. You and, gotta take a picture and he was next bigger time. Than Willie. You gotta take a picture next time. I he's probably see. fully grown. I wanna see. He's bigger than Willie. Can courses are really hard if you don't train them. Um yeah. one of the people in Delaware I don't think she's training that. One of the people in really Delaware know. got attacked like the whole shoulder. Attacked by a he's canker. Pretty, he's getting pretty socialized though, so it's I don't good. think that would happen. But I like, you know, a dog I like—a giant schnauzer. Have you seen those? You look at Messi's dog. Let's see. It's like these big boy dogs. Do you know what a schnauzer is? Let me see. Oh, he has like, um, his name's Hulk. Didn't he die? Recently, and like Messi posted it. Yeah, look at him. He's massive. Oh, he's a mastiff. That's a mastiff. Yeah, French mastiff. His he's name's Hulk. Big, bro. Messi be breaking his ankles too. <laughs> like, oh, I, I've, I've seen, seen those. I see, it's right there. <laughs> I see videos he's of cute. like. You know what I should do the whole time? Screen record. Yeah, so I, I can push it on there. Remember we were talking about well, that? Well, I was trying to get it on the TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. But it's like this whole thing. I would have to plug my laptop into shit. Yeah. Well, just screen recording this thing right here. Um, to be able to show Search the up a, a giant schnauzer. 
Those are cool. I like those. Ew. You don't like it? I've seen one before. It's ugly. You think greyhounds are cute? They're not cute. They're cool. They're like... You know what the ugh I they're hate? They're like amazing too. You know how fast they run, bro? Really? Fast. Dude, they run so fast. And people think like... I guarantee it. If you tell anybody, and you could do it just to like, just to see, mm -hmm. you tell someone like, "Oh, I want a greyhound," they'll be like, "No, no, like, that that would require so much exercise," and it doesn't. Really? Yeah, no, it doesn't. I it, think they they have speed, not stamina. Do you think an Irish setter and Willow no one has get both. along? Yeah. I should get one, Willow. No, it's like way too much work. No, why big? Oh yeah, yeah. Why big? Wait. Um. Mute me. Um, if you go, yeah, like, they think, like, the Greyhound, just because they races, like, it's going to need, like, to, like, run around all day. They walk. Remember I used the one we saw walking? Mm -hmm. I was, I used to be on the, I think I am on the Greyhound subreddit. And, like, people are, like, someone said that, like, their dog, like, someone yelled at them for, like, overheating their yeah. dog because the Greyhound walks slow as fuck. Yeah. But they just walk like that. Like, so slow. But they run, like, so fast for, like, 10 minutes. And then the whole day, they're, like, just calm. What's a medium-sized dog look like? Like, what are the medium-sized dogs? Like a golden? No, a golden was in the large dogs. Really? Yeah. A beagle? No, it's, like, um... A beagle. Maybe. Or like a... Any hound dog would be cool, though. Like a Brittany. Brittany's are so pretty. Yeah. Medium is like a beagle, isn't it? Maybe, yeah. A spaniel would be cool. Oh, I had one. A cattle dog. Those are cool. I had a spaniel. It was crazy. If we go on a farm, we should get a cattle dog. Oh, I had an English pointer, too, but only really? for a little bit because it was crazy. Oh, yeah, I remember. Not because the, the breed is crazy, but it just, I don't think it was the, trained correctly. The dog was crazy. No, a cattle yeah. dog for for the farm. <laughs> I want a farm. That's what I'm saying, for the farm. I don't want, like, a farm with, like, cows. Why? When I say that, I just mean, like... You want lots of land? Yeah, with, like, sh like a bunch of stuff. Like what? Like, a bunch of dogs. Can and I have like, chicken? I don't know. Like Give a, me chicken. A bunch of like unlimited chicken for life. You know, like what we build in Minecraft. Yeah, like a like there's like the like cabin and then there's like the like grill outside. You want a roller then, coaster like, outside? <laughs> yeah, like shit like that. We could make like a like a soccer field. Minecraft, like, where the fuck does that take place? <laughs> what do you mean? Where does Minecraft take place? Switzerland, probably. I don't know. Yeah, Brittany's medium sized. Really? Mm hmm I've gotten so accustomed to large dogs that when I got Willie, he looks small. And he's considered, like, big. These and look then like when I wolf. see, like, a chihuahua... Yeah, it's kind of weird. When I see a chihuahua, it's, like, really small, too. It's weird. You, you know my chihuahua's fat now? Like, I left for a while, and now she's fat. She used to be so skinny. But it's now because my... They look, they look funny like that, but it's, like, dangerous. She's they not like, like fat, fat. Oreo's problems. fat. Oreo's fat. Oreo Probably chokes you named every it second. Oreo. I was nine. You oh, you actually did name it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was nine. I picked him out. No. There was a dog named Oreo that was also like a Cogger Spaniel. Cogger Spaniel. My old, my dad's old boss had. Mm. I think. I think yeah, you might have yeah, mentioned yeah, that. She died. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think you might have mentioned that. No. I named Oreo when I was nine because remember I picked him out in Mexico and yeah. I brought him. No, it's because my dad, every time his bowl was empty, he would fill it. Yeah. <laughs> and they keep eating. Until like my dad passed away. The the reason... um. That was what, like four the, years? The reason humans get like um too much dopamine. Like dopamine's like, oh, dopamine's good. It's like the... Like, leading thing of all life. Like, without dopamine, you won't even eat. Isn't that Lennox's type too? Or serotonin? Dopamine. 
See? But like, like if you don't have dopamine, you won't even eat. Yeah. And you, like, isn't you won't that even what care. people like client uh, clients humans <clears throat> with depression like? I guess they like multiple things. Yeah, but isn't that one of like the main ones? I guess dopamine is more of like a rush. Mm. But like, you need it because you get dopamine when you like achieve something. Mm. So they want to achieve it. You know what I mean? Like, so back then, like, let's say, like, a, a lion, like, wants to hunt because the rush of dopamine they get when they, like, achieve it. Mm. If they don't get dopamine for doing it, and they don't get dopamine for filling their stomach with food, and they don't get dopamine for, like, staying alive, why would you stay alive? Yeah. So, people say that, like, oh, you need dopamine. But then it's, like, why is something like a jewel or, like, drinking bad for you? Mm-hmm. And not other than like the obvious like things of like it's poison. Yeah. Let's just say like something like watching TV. Yeah. That watching gives you dopamine. TV. It's not like actually bad for you unless you're like sitting all day and stuff. But like watching TV, the reason that that's bad for you is because like you aren't meant to have it that easily. Yeah. Like you're you're meant to like work to achieve it. You know what I mean? That's why if you do like a dopamine detox. Mm hmm. And this isn't like some guru thing. If you like, um, if you get a, if you, uh, blah, blah, blah. what was I saying? Oh, if you like stay away from like junk food, TV, wait, this turned off. Well, he's asleep now, guys. Oh, never mind. He's awake because Xander stood up. Technical difficulties. We will pick a new picture of Willie to put up for the technical difficulties. Soon, we'll get it fixed. Oh, by the way, it's episode two. Sorry, I didn't know what said anything. But yeah, it's episode two. So I hope you enjoyed the first one. <laughs> and that's it. Bye. <laughs> JK, JK. So, can we put a psych button? Yeah. Yes. So I realized there was this echoing sound I heard the whole time, and it's my voice in your mic. <laughs> um... Mute my mic for a sec. If, if, um, if you stay away from like YouTube videos and like junk food and like a bunch of stupid shit like that, your body like wants to like achieve stuff to get the dopamine. Oh, like a, like do a dopamine de detox? That's yeah. what you're talking about? Yeah, that's what I just said. Okay. Sorry. We just took a break, so... Oh. Um, it's, like, a good idea. Because, like... Do you ever do that? I've done it before. Where, like, I didn't do, like, anything. Like, I didn't go on social media. I didn't play games. I didn't eat junk food. I didn't, like, watch stuff. I didn't even go on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. No penguin? Yeah. The only stuff I saw on YouTube... I did it when I got Willy. Like, the only stuff I saw on YouTube was, like, training videos. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only stuff I let myself watch. I, I do, like, remember that now. Like, you weren't, like, really watching anything. Yeah. So, but, like, what it does is, like, it makes you want to get dopamine from, like, other things. Mm -hmm. After a while. At first, it's, like, what it feels kind of easy. It starts getting really hard on, like, day three. Yeah. And then you're, like, fuck. I definitely feel like but I then, couldn't like, do it. I was, like, I personally doing do stuff. It. In order to, like, get that rush of, like, achieving something. Yeah. Because you can get that rush just from, like... I still feel like you do that, though. Like, you don't... You do a good mix of them. I guess, yeah. Mm hmm I do stuff that's, like, quote-unquote productive. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't spend too much time on things that are unproductive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. The only thing that gives me a rush is, like... Um, going to go play fetch with, like, Willie. Um, like, when 
when like I cuddle with fish. Good one. <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Yeah. It's never like, yeah, because like when I make, when I'm, like when I first took Willie to the dog park, you saw how excited I was. Yeah. Because he was like so tired and I was like, I was like, I did that. I did it. Even though I didn't do it. The dogs. I did it. And I was so excited because he was sleeping. Yeah. And like that made me feel like that. Or like when Fish like finally like knocks out after me playing with him for like two hours. Because, like, he won't, like, rest because he, like, runs away. Yeah. But I can't mm. think of anything else. Of what? Like, that gives me that. That's, like, productive. In oh, a sense. like, a natural way to get it. Mm-hmm. But I don't get that dopamine rush from, like, unnatural things either. You do. That's, like, why you keep doing it. Well, like I don't well, do much. Like, when someone, like, when someone, like, jewels... Mm-hmm. It's because it gives them like that rush. Yeah. Or when someone like plays video games, maybe. Yeah, definitely. I definitely think so. That's so a weird. Addicted that's a to weird it. one now because it's like it became something that could be productive if you're good enough at it. Yeah. It's a weird one. And there's a lot of things that Cause technically it is like kind of bad if you're just doing it all the time. Yeah. But is it really if it's something that could be turned into something? But like most people don't. It's a weird sport. It's the, it's the ones that think of it becoming a productive thing. Like they're trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Those the, are the people that. I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. If if it's the ones that are actively trying to get somewhere with it. Mm-hmm. But if it's, yeah, if you're aimlessly playing, it's yeah. a different thing. Because mm-hmm. then you're just doing it to kind of like... Like we aimlessly play. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing that like all the time. Yeah. Just to like kind of like feel something. And that's how I was like for what, since 2020 until 2022. Till yeah. like earlier this year. Play hours and hours and hours with like no thought in my mind. Wouldn't do school. Wouldn't do like anything else. Would only work. And just play video games. Just because yeah. it, it I wonder made if that's me feel bad, like, though. That's a weird one. Like, I wonder if that's even bad what? to do. Like, if, were you getting your stuff done? Only work, not school. Oh, not school. But, like, I don't know. Fuck school. Yeah, that's why it's weird. Like, it's, like, it's a weird one because technically, I don't know. It's not making you money, but it's making you, like, happy. Well, it's like it's like if you it all depends on if you're happy doing it or if you just feel empty doing it. No, I feel happy doing it. Because if you if you like genuinely enjoy doing it, I think you should do it like all the time. Mm-hmm. But if like you're kind of doing it just to like feel something, yeah, or like you're kind of just numb, yeah, then it's like different. But I don't. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird topic. And I feel like that's why a lot of people self harm too, makes them feel something. How do people do what? Self-harm. Self-harms? What's that? Self-harm. Oh, self-harm. These are farms. <laughs> like, they sell farms. Self-harms? No. Self-harm. Self-harm. Yeah. It's so that... Well, it's because you feel numb or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, There's a lot of things on that list. Oh, was that my ankle? Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all bones. Hmm. Maybe we should pod. Maybe we should cast my um, my weight gain journey. Your oh weight gain. Yeah, we could. Up day every to, week. I just we gotta pick a day to start that. You know, the thing about weight gain is money goes into it. It's not like oh just work hard. You have to like buy food that like fat, is bro. practical. Like yeah, you could just eat McDonald's every day. No, that doesn't work because that's what I do. No, it does. Because when I wanted to gain weight, um, but I eat I did junk all stuff. the time. Like it's more than that though. I eat junk food and then I eat more food on top of that. Because junk food's like a good way to get like an extra calories. But like if, my body really if doesn't you can't tolerate eat other it. Stuff. Yeah, it does. No, I'll throw up. No, we did it. Yeah, and I felt like throwing up every day. You still did it. Yeah, but I felt like throwing up. I felt shitty at the end of the day. Didn't make me feel good. Because you were still gaining weight. No, it's not You know, I lost all of it again. 
the whole time. Yeah, it's not easy. We did it for like a month. Pretty yeah, good. I didn't say it was easy. I just said it's like um, that you did it. Yeah. You said you can't, but you did. You well, literally did. Yeah. But I hated so, every step of it. Like it makes me hate it so much that I don't want to do it's it hard, ever again. It's hard. But you know what else is hard? Life. No, being <laughs> underweight. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Yeah, what? it is because you're like not you. You I'm tired all the time. You're not I happy bruise. with it. You're like I bruise easily. Well, you're just not happy with it, right? Yeah, no. It's sad. Yeah, but I so think I'm mostly hard. sad because of the people who mention it. I don't think I'm sad because I don't like the way I look. Maybe because I've never hated the way I look ever. Yeah, that might be it. Because I get skinny shamed. Yeah, maybe that might mm-hmm. be it. Well, are you like underweight technically? Mm-hmm. So that's just like a bad thing then. Yeah. Like my doctors will say I'm underweight, but I'm not missing any vitamins besides like vitamin D that I've had like a deficiency since I was young. But at the end of the day, if it's like a medical issue, then yeah, it is bad. It's not just I'm only like a pound or two weight. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad to the point where I need medical attention. And it's not something I'm doing on purpose either, which is why it doesn't catch. Who gets it bad to the point where they need medical attention? A lot. People on purpose? What do you mean? People who starve themselves? Yeah, but that's like so away from what you are. No, I know, I know, but that, you that's You said it like my, if it's even like a... I'm saying as in like it's not that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like thankfully it's never been that. Yeah. It's always just been a skinny problem. <laughs> hmm. Are you skinny? Mm, no, you're... No, nah, not really. You're big. You're going to call me fat. <laughs> you are fat. I saw it in like your mouth. You are fat. Fat in the heart. What does that mean? I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> With high cholesterol. No. I have plaque you in have my like veins. A, like a nice little, like you love to eat, but you aren't fat. You could easily be. The way you eat sometimes. <laughs> my maintenance calories are pretty high. That's why. Mm. Thanks for watching. Tune in for next time with Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus is coming to the next one. I think. Hopefully. He might just not. <laughs> but we're doing another one probably tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm going to do one every day. It's really easy. <laughs> I love this thing. This whole setup we made is cool. <laughs> I quit, I'm gay, and I love Xander. I like the ending. Bye.